where do you cons where do you think or where do you suggest where life begins is it in the womb is it when you are delivered is it when do you th when do you, when when does the soul enter the body now you are assuming things <laughs> well i have i've heard from from where i mean whatever my learning <laughs> no, no. and conditioning you, as you can call now i'm talking about you and me and people here now you're bringing an other person called soul yes Uh, let us use the word life because the word soul okay. is heavily contaminated. Uh, you know, people are finding soulmates. <laughs> it's very clear, <laughs> it's very, very clear. Your body needs a mate, your mind may need a mate. But the soul, if it is absolute, it definitely will not need a mate, isn't it? Uh, but so many things have… let's call it life. Okay. It's… it's less co <laughs> corrupted word. <laughs> As life does not engage with the body, just like that, it happens as a process. When a… a woman or a mother conceives, two little cells coming together, then becomes a meatball, literally. For this meatball to become a life, it is somewhere between forty to forty-eight days after conception that the life process enters. I don't know much what the medical opinion is. Are there any doctors here? Huh? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm saying this from my personal experience. It's forty to forty-eight days, that's a space where you enter. There are some lives which enter later. Suppose, see this is something uh, a woman or a mother could feel if we train her a little bit. If she sees that a life entered beyond forty-eight days, then you're delivering somebody truly special because this life will take time to settle in. Some phenomenal life is on the way. You have heard somebody sees, uh, uh, you know, Gautama's mother and this man says, you are going to deliver a phenomenal being. Somebody looks at Yashoda and says to the mother, you are delivering a phenomenal being. This is simply because when you notice after forty-eight days of conception, still life has not entered but enters a little later than that, this means you are expecting a phenomenal being to arrive. Why it is so, if I go into the intricacies, it'll take you somewhere. But normal life enters somewhere between forty to forty-eight days. Now after this, for some reason, after all womb is a manufacturing unit of this body. For some reason, if the, the, uh, the body did not form itself appropriately for that life or for any life, then the life chooses to exist before it's delivered. So this is a stillborn baby. Or sometimes because of whatever compulsions a mother may choose to abort the child, that is another form of thing. But in these things the engagement with the body for this life truly begins somewhere approximately between eighty-four to ninety days is where really life gets engaged. Till then it's foraging. It is looking if this is suitable, if this womb is the right place. This is not a conscious thing. This is an unconscious tendency-wise. It is seeing if it matches by tendencies. The appropriate word for this is traditionally we call this vasanas. Depending upon your vasana, you're looking for an appropriate body. So though it is partially engaged, it can exit before ninety days, before between eighty to… eighty-four to ninety days, the life gets properly engaged. From then on, it's a proper baby. From then on, it's a proper life.